So the first tank just died on us. We didn't find anything crazy good, but we found a decent amount of stuff. Let's check it out. My favorite find of the day has to be this rattle trap. This is a pretty nice looking lure. Uh, it doesn't look like it's been in the water for too long. Another cool find is this earring. I thought this was like diamonds for a second. Obviously it would have been fake, but pretty cool find. You don't really find too many of these here at the river. This right here is a unique find, a little girl's flipper. <laughs> it's pretty sad. <laughs> I know that little girl is probably heartbroken. If she's still, yeah, she's still <laughs> looking for it, I'm sure. We could probably do a uh, search for this. Now, I have no idea what this is right here. If you guys can let me know, I'd appreciate it. What do you think that is, man? Curling iron? Curling iron. Curling iron, yeah. <laughs> For your hair? Roll it up? No. It might be a brush, man. Okay. Like the hand to the top of, like, what holds all the bristles. Dog brush? I don't know. I never seen a brush like roller. that. Lint roller. This is one of the ugliest lures I've ever found. Like, look at this thing, man. That's so disgusting. This used to be a fluke. <laughs> That's so gross. I don't find too many lizard lures, but here's a cool little purple one. This was a weird find. I think this goes to a door, maybe? This is the crustiest lure I have ever found in my entire life. Like, that right there is a lure. Doesn't look like one anymore, but <laughs> that's so nasty. Now, I've probably found about five or six of these lures right here. I've never caught a fish on a spoon before, but pretty neat to find these. I've actually found two or three of these lures right here. These are really interesting looking. Like, I don't know how in the world it works, but it catches my eye every time I see it just because it's like a unique lure. Pretty cool. I found this rusted jerk bait right here. All the hooks are broken off. This is a pretty good swim bait color, but the guy's using such a tiny jig head that his hookup ratio is probably like pretty slim. <laughs> this lure right here is so nasty, man. Look at that. There's like river mold on it. This right here is a really good lure. This is something I would use. A red jig head with a white fluke. It's simple, but it does the trick. I've probably found over 500 of these lures right here. I don't know where they're getting them, but uh, <laughs> there's so many of them. Do you want a lure to take home? All right, pick one out, buddy. You want that one, huh? Found some earbuds. These are way too far gone. I mean, who knows, man? I might be able to put it in rice and it could still... <laughs> Just kidding. Found a bunch of sinkers. We'll probably be able to reuse these or give them out to some catfishmen, but I always find a whole bunch of these, man. I wasn't too sure what this is right here. This looks... At first glance, I thought it was like a bullet casing, but I think it's a battery. <laughs> Not as cool. Found a couple of these tiny lures. I think these are for skipjack or crappy. Found a whole bunch of hooks. A few of these are reusable, but a lot of them are really rusty. I don't want anyone to step on these hooks, so it's always nice to get those out of the river. You know what's crazy? I actually stepped on this one right here, and it went right through my heel. But uh, yeah, always nice to get the hooks out of the river. Super dangerous. This guy rigged his fluke upside down. The more lures I find, the more I realize that not everyone knows what they're doing out here. <laughs> like, I had no clue how to river fish, but as the years go on, I've learned so much after collecting all these lures. I've learned that everyone has their style, and sometimes it's, it's not the greatest. So on the first tank, we found a handful of nice fishing lures, but we didn't find anything crazy good. So we're gonna put the second tank on, we're gonna head over to Cup Bait. Personally, I think Cup Bait is one of the most dangerous spots at the river. It's gonna be super murky, it's gonna be dark, a lot of fishing line everywhere, and I'm sure there's gonna be some giant catfish. So we're gonna get out there, have some fun, and uh, maybe we'll get lucky over there.
right, so the second tank just died on us. We actually found a handful of really nice stuff. Let's check it out. I'm gonna start things off with my favorite find of the day and it's the Buck of Bull Shad right here. This lure is actually worth 50 bucks. This is a good one. Found a few sunglasses. This one's really crusty. These are actually pretty nice looking. I might be able to clean these up and give them to someone. And then someone lost their prescription glasses right here. These look kind of too far gone though. So this has to be the nastiest, biggest fluke I've ever found here at the river. This is a pretty gross one, man. At Cup 8, they do a lot of catfishing and they use these hooks like this down there. And this is why I consider Cup 8 being one of the most dangerous spots here at the river. Just because if you were underwater and this snagged up on your foot or your leg and you didn't have scissors or a knife, you would drown or you'd have to rip this out of your arm or your leg or whatever. But this is uh, this is dangerous. I'm glad I got this hook out of the river. I ended up finding like five more hooks there as well. Found a penny. Found these two rattle traps over there. Uh, these actually look pretty similar. One's just a little bit bigger, but these are reusable. These are actually nice. Found another penny. This is probably like my second or third favorite lure of the day. It's a spinnerbait with a fluke on it. And my favorite colors at the river to use are chartreuse and white. It works great in murky water but this is actually a really nice spinnerbait. I thought I got lucky and found a phone, but this is actually just the back to a phone. Definitely not as cool. So on the first dive, I actually saved a handful of fish. The first one was that big catfish. It was stuck on fishing line and it had a hook in its mouth and it was like kind of swimming around like a five foot area. And I eventually grabbed it, took the hook out and it swam away. I'm pretty sure that one lived. I don't know if all of them survived, but it's always nice to unhook them and you know, give them a fighting chance. All right, you wanna say hey to everyone? Hi. Tell them your name. Hey, look That's... at the camera. Hey, this is your moment. <laughs> this... I've been subscribing a lot. Yeah? Thank you, buddy. Like then, I appreciate like that. Been half of... 